The modern game is almost unrecognisable from how golf was played at the start of the 20th century. Courses were shorter and carrying five or six clubs was the norm. The clubs were made with hickory shafts, demanding a perfect blend of rhythm and balance in order to strike the ball with force and accuracy. Fast forward a century and hickory golf is enjoying something of a renaissance, with the formation of clubs around the world. Last month, Golfing World attended the World Hickory Open, staged at the famous Carnoustie in Scotland. In 2005, we had the first one at Musselburgh. Called it the World Hickory Open, which was a cheek. There was one overseas player, and that was Peter Thompson's son-in-law. And everybody enjoyed it so much. So that made me feel that maybe there was legs to it. The annual staging of the tournament indicates a real appetite for this form of golf, and it appears to have genuine global appeal, with 20 countries represented this year. One of our team members is coming over for about three or four years now. He's taking place in these events because he's playing Hickory for more than 20 years now. And uh, once, once we get notice of the 10th anniversary of, of that event, we decided to come over with the whole club, actually. Uh, we are 18 from Switzerland, from our specific club. There are more from Switzerland, actually. I think it's, it, it, it's a, a game that grows slowly uh, as people see other people playing and then they try it. Uh, you know, they start to realize how much fun it can be. And, the camaraderie of everybody, all the, all the Hickory players when they played together, uh, that, that helps grow the sport too, because when people see how much fun we're having, they want to be involved also. Hickory golf is a rejection of the modern game's move towards 300 plus yard drives and longer, rather one-dimensional courses. Playing with Hickory clubs is a great way to experience some of the oldest courses in the UK, which can't be lengthened to accommodate modern equipment. Well, I think the biggest thing it does is, is, it, is it brings out all those great courses that were built in probably before the turn of the century, before the Great War and after the Great War, at certain lengths. It suddenly brings the, them as they were to start with back into play and makes them fascinating. When you play a course of 5,800 yards, say, it's perfect for hickory golf. Whereas with the modern monsters, it's, it's devoured. This year's tournament was played in near-perfect conditions at Carnoustie and tour professional Andrew Marshall narrowly beat amateur Cliff Martin to clinch the title. Marshall was one of the 15 pros playing and he followed in the footsteps of last year's champion, Sandy Lyle. Uh, well, it probably hasn't, you know, hell cliche, it probably hasn't sunk in just yet, but um, yeah, I'm more than, more than delighted. I'll, had uh, two seconds, so I was kind of expecting, you know, to do quite well because I know Sandy Lyle missed this year. Um, although there's some, you know, Fraser Man played and uh, Paolo Carici's a very good Hickory player. But my round on uh, Tuesday, the first day, kind of set me up for it really. Without that, it would have been a different story, I think. Where next for Hickory Golf? Well, despite appearances, there is no obligation to dress in 1920s clothes. In fact, it's a free-running game played on short courses, challenging the most able players. Clubs are relatively inexpensive and ecologically sound, offering a potentially more interesting alternative to the modern game. I just think it's going to grow slowly. I, I, I you know, I, it's not a, it's not anything that's going to grow overly fast. Uh, but as more and more people play and as we have more and more tournaments like this with a little bit of publicity, I think more and more people will try it. And once they try it, they, they seem to like it and want to, want to keep going with it. I think one of the reasons I continued to do it, the fact that it was enjoyed. Very few people have said, no, I don't like it. I mean, having Sandy win it last year was terrific for the profile. Every tournament's been enjoyed. There hasn't, you know, we've hardly had a grumble. You've, the fight, the, even when the weather's been horrendous. So it's, it's proved to have legs, and I think it's um, established the sort of level that it may even grow from.